James 1, starting in verse 2, Faith and Endurance. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Now, I'm going to read you the uh, footnotes to this. It says, Becoming a Christian does not automatically exclude a believer from difficulties. And it lists several scriptures there. It says, The proper attitude in meeting adversity is to consider it an opportunity for great joy which is not an emotional reaction, but a deliberate, intelligent appraisal of the situation from God's perspective. Viewing troubles as a means of moral and spiritual growth. We do not rejoice in the troubles themselves, but in the possible results. Tested carries the idea of proving genuineness. Troubles serve as discipline to purge faith of dross, stripping away all that is false. And endurance is not a passive resignation to adverse circumstances, but a positive steadfastness that bravely endures. Lord, thank you so much for this word this morning. Help us to meditate on this and to ask you, what does this mean, Lord, as we go through all of our stuff in this life that's going to happen? Lord, I ask you to show us now, give us wisdom, grow us where we need it, and help us to remember the God who never leaves or forsakes us is always right there with us. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.